If you and it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be my summer must-have. So basically a bunch of makeup, skincare, and like fashion items that I would recommend checking out for the summer. Basically things I'm planning on using a ton. Let's start with bronzer because let's be real, bronzer, summer, goes together. Ooh, that was not planned. That's a good rhyme, okay. Starting off the video on a good note. Um, I am planning on doing a best uh, bronzer at a drugstore video probably like in the upcoming days. And I will be including this one, but I just needed to mention it again because I feel like everyone has forgotten about it and nobody ever mentions it. <laughs> The Physician Formula Butter Bronzer is just like the bronzer that everyone has been raving about and I do really like it. I'm actually wearing it today and I have the lightest one. I believe they have uh, two shades and it is just a very, very natural bronzer on me. It just looks like my skin but just a little bit more tan so it is super easy for me to blend it seamless, seamlessly, seamlessly uh, into my skin and it just add just a little bit of color. It kind of has a satin finish, I feel like. I feel like it just gives me a like natural, like healthy skin look. And it does smell like coconut sunscreen. I don't know, people like it, I don't, but it doesn't really matter. I don't smell it on my face. I totally recommend this, it's definitely worth the money. And I also wanted to give a shout out to the Fenty Beauty one because I have the shade in the sun and although it is quite light, I still have been wearing it a ton and it might become a little too light for me during the middle of summer. But for now, I'm still very much enjoying it. I definitely do recommend it. Favorite blushes, I feel like I could have done a whole video on just that. Same thing with lipstick, although I am having enough content for a whole lipstick video here. <laughs> blushes, I'm still standing behind all the ones I've mentioned in the past, whether it's like NARS uh, Deep Throat or MAC Peaches or Melba, Spring Sheen. All those colors are still amazing. I do recommend them, but the newest addition in my collection that I've been wearing pretty much every single day, and I'm wearing it today too, uh, from Flower Beauty. I got so late to that hype and the color uh, Peach Primrose is stunning for spring summer. Again, I'm wearing it today. It, it is super scary and bright, but I'm able to use it. There you go. Uh, this is just a wet and well. I just do this and that's it. And I just, that's it. It has enough like pigmentation. I'll do that like one or two times just to build it up. And it looks amazing. It is matte, uh, it's, there's no shimmer, no glitter, nor anything, and it blends very nicely. But yeah, it is very, very pigmented. Obviously, it makes it work for every skin tone, but on mine, I do have to be careful, but it's totally worth the slight effort, and I totally recommend these. Obviously, the little flower pattern doesn't hurt either. Highlighter, uh, yes, please, all of them on my face right now. I mean, during the summer especially. Uh, the one I'm currently wearing is from NARS, can't resist it. This is the NARS Albatross highlighter and I still stand behind this hard. Uh, they had reformulated these. The, it used to be in a, like a blush format and they created these ones which are so much thinner and I adore them. I feel like highlighters have become thicker and thicker kind of like eyeshadow formula and yes they are pretty and very intense and everything but these are just so thin like no shimmer no glitter. It is like the most natural glow ever and I live for this. It's just amazing. It's also not too dark that it won't like show up like a gold stripe on my face. And I just, I adore this. Can't recommend this enough. And the most recent one that I fell in love, that I fell in love with is from Jcat Beauty. This is the You Glow Girl Big Highlighter. And I have the shade 104 Crystal Sand. And again, absolutely adore this. It is a bake highlighter. It's a bit lighter than the uh, NARS one. Oops, right here. I'm actually wearing it in my inner corners and it's just again a very natural glowy yet intense I guess highlighter and I've been really really enjoying that one. I definitely recommend this. The whole brand has like a bunch of different ones. They all have different patterns which is I can't deal. I need all of them but uh, every skin tone will be able to find a color in there and I definitely recommend them. They're really great. I know I've talked about this foundation a lot but I need to do it again because it is the perfect summer foundation. Catrice, uh, the HD Light Liquid Coverage Foundation. This gives you medium to full coverage, yet it still looks like skin, and it controls my oil. It doesn't overly emphasize my dehydration, but like my forehead doesn't get super oily. I'm gonna be wearing this like every single day during the summer. I've already been wearing it pretty much every single day. Uh, sometimes I do share it out with a little bit of moisturizer to make it like a tinted moisturizer, but it's a great foundation that kind of dries to like like semi matte like kind of powdery finish on its own and it just wears super nicely uh, the only thing is it's super dark the shade that I have is the second lightest one which is rose beige number 20 
and it's definitely a summer shade, so I will be enjoying it all summer long because I know I won't be able to during the winter unless I mix it with a white foundation. But yes, adore this, can't recommend this enough. They have uh, 16 shades, so they've increased it. They used to have like four or five eyeshadows, and then we're gonna go into a million lip products. I have two things to mention for eyeshadows. First off, neons. Neons, everything are in this summer, and you're gonna see even nail polish. I went there, I love them. And this one is the 3CE one color shadow this is a matte formula and the color is hashtag july lime and uh, i've been wearing this actually in a couple of videos you saw it in my last yes doll haul and this is amazing i thought this wasn't going to be super pigmented because it is a korean brand and usually their eyeshadows are not super pigmented which i do like on a daily basis but when i saw the swatches online it looked amazing and turns out yep yep it's just great and like look that's one swatch super intense and it blends amazing like I'm so impressed I need to order more of these because I didn't expect like usually matte shadows and then like bright colors don't tend to blend super nicely like you have to really work with them you'll like use a primer and like powder and then put it just to make sure you can actually blend it you won't have an issue with this it blends amazingly and I've been adoring it and actually using it so much more than I expected and they have a few of the bright shades so I will be getting more, but definitely recommend checking out anything that is bright, either it's eyeliner or some people will use mascaras that are bright, but eyeshadows, definitely recommend this, so good. And then liquid eyeshadows, they don't have to be Stila, I know they have a few different brands, again Korean brands have a couple, and I know a few brands like Essence have been coming out with some, and even Wet n Wild, actually I think I have one Wet n Wild, I'll grab it in a second, but Stila, still recommend these, they're amazing, especially if you're going to go with the duochrome ones, I think they're more worth the money, so like Wanderlust, which is a brown with like a pink kind of gold shift to it. Uh, the swatches will not do it justice, honestly. You might as well just look at it in the tube. It's just amazing, honestly. I've been wearing this so much and loving it. I, I bought the color Dollish and oh, this one is amazing for summer. It's like pink but gold and it's just, again, in, in the tube you can see it better. It's so beautiful. So if you're looking for like a rose gold kind of color, like orangey, rusty gold, so pretty. Which now, I just remember, I got this my hands on some of the Wet n Wild one. Let me swatch one just to see if they're good. Those are the uh, Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Shimmer Liquid Shadow, and I have the color Fairy Tale Ending. And I know, ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm adding this to my list. I will be checking out more colors, but it does seem very nice. It's actually pretty even, and this one is kind of a like purple with a little bit of a gold shift to it. These might be a good drugstore option. Oh, and by the way, I'm still very much into any earrings that have like a part in the front and then something that pops in the back. So these ones are definitely uh, my newest uh, addition, my newest favorite ones, and I've been wearing a bunch of the other ones. So every time you see me wearing them, they're usually linked in the description box, but I believe these ones are from Shein and definitely worth the like $3 they were. <laughs> now let's go with lipsticks because we're gonna be there for a while. Uh, first off, what I'm wearing on my lips, I've been very much into those type of like dark-ish nude for me uh, that have like a peach kind of twist to them. Uh, I like the MAC like uh, Yash or Honey Love or kind of sexy. I just did a uh, new updated MAC lip swatch video so I will link it down below if you want to see like all of my MAC lipsticks on my lips. I definitely recommend them, they're really really great. But this one is kind of in that family and it is from uh, Milk Makeup and I have the shade Skills and I got this during the last Sephora sale and I've been wearing it a ton. I adore this. I'm wearing it on my lips but let me swatch it anyway. It's such a nice nudie peachy matte lipstick. It's a thick formula. It goes on super evenly. It lasts well throughout the day and it's very comfortable because it's so creamy. I just adore this. It's just a perfect everyday shade for me. So definitely recommend those lipsticks. It was my first time trying any, actually almost any makeup by uh, Milk and I need to check out more, but these lipsticks, I'm super impressed with the formula. One more matte lipstick and then we go into all of the non-matte lipsticks because that's definitely my thing this year. But Maybelline, I still need to rave about those liquid lipsticks because they came out this year uh, with more of the Super Stay Matte Ink in the, uh, it's the City Edition, like New York Edition. And the color uh, Self Starter is just my favorite. It's just so good. Again, it's a like, depending on your skin tone, this might be a nude, but it's a nice like uh, brick, kind of like warm, orangey nude. 
and I just really enjoy it. It's really great on a daily basis. What kind of you know when you want to get into colors but you don't want to go full on bright? This is perfect because it's not so bright. There's no white base to it or anything. And these are so long wearing. Like if you want to pretend you're a mermaid this summer and wear a lipstick when you're swimming, these will not budge. Like you could do anything with these and they will not budge. Uh, you actually need like oil or waterproof uh, makeup remover to remove them. Uh, when I did the lip swatch video recently, I removed it with the Garnier, like the blue cap bottle super affordable and it removed everything very easily but otherwise these will not budge. Uh, definitely recommend these for sure. I needed to give them a shout out because they're perfect for summer. Two that are newer and that I've been enjoying so far. The first one is this one by Mimi Bucks. It's part of the Pony uh, collection. It, she's a YouTuber, she's great and uh, she came out with some makeup with uh, Mimi Bucks. <laughs> I don't know why I struggle so hard with this. Uh, the color Spring Fever I have been enjoying this so much. It's such a nice color and I actually mentioning that I still like all the MAC retro matte finishes that are like kind of these colors like uh, All Fired Up and Relentlessly Red and all these shades that are pretty bright. I still like them in that formula because they're so matte but uh, this has been so easy to wear and it really stains your lips so it's very easy to just throw it on and once the shininess is gone you still, still are left with some color. And it's just such a really, really nice kind of like light pinky coral color. Been really enjoying that one. And then last but not least, this one is a little weird and it took me a little while to get used to it. But the more I use it, the more I love it. And I can't see the brand. That's the one I can't see it. Uh, but it's Dear Darling Tint in the color 201. I will link it down below. Oh, it's House. So Korean for sure. Uh, I got... Okay. This is not idiot proof, I'm just going to say it, because the first time I applied it, I was like, oh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, because it's a very glossy kind of lip gloss, and it applies pretty thickly, but it smells, again, like candy. It's just amazing. This is what it looks like. The formula goes on pretty thick, so try to apply a thin layer, and then once the shine is gone, it's straight up, like, your lips are that color forever, <laughs> pretty much. Every time I apply this, the next day I'm like, oh, I'm still wearing this color, I guess, because it's there. And it's very, very comfortable. I do find myself reapplying it just to smell slash taste it, but also to get the shine back. But it just is going to be in my purse again because it's so low maintenance and it lasts all day because it leaves such a stain. So I've been really enjoying that. Actually, let me show you. Let me remove it with a wipe because it's been there two seconds. <laughs> Like, this is no joke. It will be there for the rest of my life. Like, like it's still there. And I've been, like, rubbing like an idiot. So, yeah. And now that swatch will live on forever on my head. I was mentioning neons, but uh, on your nails, it's a must for summer either. You, if you don't feel too adventurous on your hands, your toes are there for that, basically. Uh, but really, really neon, bright, fun colors. These are from Sally Anson. It is actually their neon collection. And this one is the color Limoncello, and then you have the color Violet Voltage. And I've been wearing this one and been really enjoying it. It, it looks almost like Smarties on your fingers, which, yes, please. Uh, but maybe I'm actually going to try this on my toes too. Why not? So yeah, definitely recommend checking out any neon. I know curls have been in for like years and years and years, but try something more like lime, because again, Definitely a thing this summer, and nothing work around these. A few skincare bits before we go into fashion. Uh, I mean, summer means SPF. You should be wearing it all year round, but I know a lot of people don't, or you live somewhere like me where winter is like straight up, you never see the sun like ever. Uh, but SPF is really great for you. Uh, I decided to try this one this year. This is the Make Prime Protect Your Skin From The Sun. UV Defense Me, Blu-ray Sun Fluid. I don't know what the real name is, but SPF 50 at PA++++. This is technically for your face, but it's the most giant bottle I've ever seen. You could use it on your body. Usually I'll use it like from there to there, basically head and like neck and chest. And then I'll use something else for the rest of my body because I don't tend to break out as easily as on my face. And it's been working really nicely so far. It is a very light lotion. Like it's such a giant bottle, honestly. <laughs> but you can see it's a very, very light lotion. It has like a very, very faint scent to it. And so far I've been really enjoying it. Definitely recommend it. And also I really wanted to mention this one because I'm always mentioning this one, but it's such a must have. This is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50 plus PA++++. Uh, this is the most lightweight sunscreen I've ever tried in my entire life. Uh, it is also a kind of light green gel. So if you have 
deeper skin tone and you feel like nothing ever works on you because it always leaves a ridiculous white cast, this will not do that on you. Like there's literally nothing. It uh, dries matte incredibly fast. It has a light lemony scent. I really adore this. The only thing is it's not waterproof. So I would go with something maybe a little bit more intense if you're gonna go to the beach or something. But on a daily basis, this works beautifully on me. I adore it. I've converted so many people to actually starting to use sunscreen daily because you don't feel it on your skin and it works beautifully on your makeup. It dries so fast. It doesn't roll off your face. It doesn't leave a cast. It's just perfect, like literally perfect. Almost forgot to mention, SPF for your lips is also a must. I really like the Ado Labo one. Uh, it's currently in my purse, but definitely recommend it because it doesn't taste like sunscreen. I feel like sometimes it's just kind of yucky. Uh, this one is just like clear gel and it's great. I did a video where I share a bunch of summer dresses, including actually the one I'm wearing right now. Uh, I will link that down below if you're uh, interested, but I found so many cute floral dresses and usually I can't find anything, so definitely would recommend that. But accessory-wise, I'm still very much into those round purses, especially the like um, straw kind of hand-woven. I know there's an actual name for that. Is it like Ratten, ratten. But yeah, I still totally recommend them in general. I will link a bunch down below if you're looking for more, but that's the one that I have and it's just gorgeous. You just basically attach it like this and then it matches everything. Obviously it's brown and I've been wearing it, like I wore it last summer, all summer long and I've been actually already starting to wear it and would definitely recommend. It's so lightweight and I feel like I don't feel the need to put too much stuff in there too. So it's been really great for summer. Also, it has become a thing with shoes. Uh, Yes, please. These are like, mules are basically like flip-flops that look fancy. <laughs> That's all I'm calling them. Uh, these are from the brands uh, Dava Girl. I will link those down below, but uh, I know a bunch of other brands have been coming out with some, like Lulu's, or I'm sure other brands will start coming out with these during the summer because they're so comfy. Once again, they're very lightweight and they look so like relaxed yet kind of cute and dressy. And I've been wearing these and enjoying them already. I can definitely guarantee you right now that these will be everywhere during the summer. That was a long video. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section what are your summer must-haves. Also, let me know if you have tried any of these and how you felt about them. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss any future videos. And I will be putting some on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.